Hey everyone. This was really dumb. <laughs> so it turns out I'm not good at starting segments either. I can only just awkwardly muddle about until they start or finish. Hi everyone, Allison here. So um, I thought it would be fun to have videos where I just uh, talk a lot. It's not because I am not arranging all the time and because I can't think of new things to play. That is absolutely not the reason, so it's not. But uh, yeah, no, I just figured everyone watches to hear me speak anyway, so why not just make videos of me talking about total, utter nonsense? So if you didn't already know, I do love music very, very much, and I'm a proud player of the trombone. Can you believe she plays the trombone? Like, she's this tall. Why would she ever even do that? That is seriously the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I'm gonna tell all my friends. So what is more fun than making fun of a trombonist? Why, looking up jokes which make fun of trombonists. I haven't really heard many like trombone jokes specifically. I feel like most of them are about like pompous trumpet players. Drummer jokes are a really big one. And then I think um, perhaps one of my favorite ones, uh, what's the difference between a bassoon and a trampoline? You take your shoes off when you jump on the trampoline. I mean, I really feel like that joke kind of applies to every single instrument. I don't really think that's bassoon specific. So, you know, take that joke and run with it. Anyone who plays anything. So I've got my phone right here. I'm going to just go right in, Google trombone jokes. I did find a site. I did not read anything on the site. So these are all totally, I guess, new to me. And we're just going to see if they make me laugh. That's pretty much the game. I feel like this should be you laugh, you lose, except that I don't really have any stakes for losing. You can just laugh at me, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Trombone jokes. It's probably this link that says trombone jokes. So um, we're going to take a look-see and see just how funny they really are. Here we go. That is some green text on a black background, and it hurts my face. Let's take a look-see, shall we? First one. Why is a dead snake in the road more tragic than a dead trombonist in the road? I already don't like the smack that this joke is throwing at me right now. Like, I don't even need an answer. That's pretty offensive anyway, but we'll keep going. Why is a dead snake in the road more tragic than a dead trombonist in the road? One, the snake may have been on the way to a recording session. Two, there are skid marks in front of the snake. Well, that just makes me sad from top to bottom. That's offensive from the very first word until the last, so good on you mean, mean person who wrote that joke. Wow. Next one. What do you call a guy who knows how to play a trombone and doesn't? A gentleman. Honestly. First of all, doesn't apply to me. There's no man here. Ha ha. I win. That was not a real laugh. That was a sarcastic one. Doesn't count. What did Captain Picard... Oh, we're getting into some Star Trek now. Okay. I'm already interested in the trombone being mixed in with Star Trek. This is going to be fun. What did Captain Picard say when he entered a jazz club and saw a trombonist on stage? I'm just picturing Captain Picard in a jazz club. I think that's really funny. I just think of him with the beret and he's just like... Preach, preach. <laughs> anyway, let's read the joke. Okay, what did he say when he entered a jazz club, saw a trombonist on stage? Computer, end program. I'm just worried that my Picard impression wasn't that good. What do four trombones sound like at the bottom of the sea? A good idea. I'm not amused. It sounds like a good idea, I guess is what they were going for, but I take offense to that. They act like trombones are just big vuvuzelas or something, like just playing in one just is awful. I take offense. Let's see. How do you know if there's a trombonist at your door? The doorbell drags. 
nope, I refuse. I refuse to laugh at that, but mm, that could be kind of sort of true. That's not totally false. That's not totally false. When we have whole notes for like the first six years of playing, all the time and nothing else. Is it really a wonder that when we have to play faster stuff, it tends to slow down? Whose fault is that really? Really? Just saying. Mm. How can you tell that a kid on a playground is a trombonist's kid? He can't swing and he complains about the slide. I mean, that's funny wordplay. I will I will give props to whoever wrote this joke. That's good wordplay. Although honestly, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like trombone is such a staple jazz instrument though. Like trombone is, I feel like part of like the essential jazz sound, like big band, you know? So I don't really know that many trombonists that can't swing at all. I feel like that's not totally true. Someone asks a trombonist, what's the subdominant of F major? What is the subdominant of F major? Does that mean the five chord? I think it means the five chord. I don't know. What is the subdominant of F major? The trombonist is confused. What? I thought F major was the subdominant. I think the sound my mouth just made was probably funnier than the joke. I think it's C, right? The subdominant, isn't it C? It's the five chord, right? I sure hope so. I studied music once. There's a lot more jokes about trombones than I thought. This is kind of almost flattering. And then at the same time, it's kind of disheartening too. <laughs> Next one. How many trombone players does it take to change a light bulb? Only one, but he'll spend half an hour trying to figure out what position he needs to be in. What kind of calendar does a trombonist use for his gigs? Year at a glance. That's just mean. This is not nice. I assume that means he only has one gig a year. That's not true. That's not true. It's usually like three gigs a year, at least three. Come on now. How can you make a French horn sound like a trombone? Well, first of all, it's horn and not French horn, that's wrong. Ask any horn player and they will tell you that's wrong. And from the two seconds I played French horn, horn, I can tell you it's wrong and I was just wrong. How can you make a French horn sound like a trombone? Number one, take your hand out of the bell and lose all sense of taste. Do they mean musical taste? I think it's just because I'm stuck on the whole that which should not be named but ruin 2020 thing because I think losing taste is like a thing that happens. I feel like my brain is just in the wrong headspace for this. Number two, uh, take your hand out of the bell and miss all the notes. We just, th okay, here's the thing about trombone. Here's the thing I've discovered. Trombone players don't miss notes, no. They're hitting the right notes. They're just hitting them wildly out of tune is what the thing is. So they may sound like it's the wrong note, but that's not true. They're just out of tune, which look in our defense, right? We don't have buttons actually hitting notes in tune every time and accounting for things like weather change is actually really hard on trombone. That's actually quite challenging. So I feel like we should get a bit of a break, but I'm biased. So well, next one. What do you call a trombone? <laughs> now this is dated. What do you call a trombone with a beeper? Hi kids, do you know what a beeper is? Well, back when mommy and daddy were young teenagers who were just getting in technology, when AOL was a thing, an instant messenger happened where you left weird away messages so that that cute girl or guy would see you and think you were cool, but they couldn't talk to you because you were too cool to beat your keyboard. Way back then, people had these little devices called beepers, which basically were text messages, but not quite. Anyway, what do you call a trombonist with a beeper? An optimist. I also feel like that joke is pretty much for any instrument that you want to be mean to. I don't think that's just a trombone thing. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. 